thing I kind of wanted to fucking talk about here is uh, fucking uh, Andrew Tate. Like, Jesus Christ. How many people know about Andrew Tate? You know? You know, fucking MMA, uh, uh, Jordan Peterson and shit like that. Now, on the surface, he looks like either a freaking supervillain or a freaking hero, you know? You know, the, the guy that the Matrix is just trying to kill, the guy that the, you know, it's fascinating. Uh, Andrew Tate is probably one of the most interesting people I've seen in a long time. Primarily because he exists in two worlds of fiction. As it's like, basically you have people who think he is basically just like the next Andrew Peterson. Just like so great and awesome and like, because he'll sit there and he'll do videos where he talks about how you have to hustle and do, do good and things like that. Which, I mean, they're all true things. Like, don't get me wrong, everything he says is true. But, fucking, uh... How much does he actually believe what he says? Uh, <laughs> you know. Because he fucking seems to exist in two worlds of fiction, and it's so bizarre. Excuse me a minute while I, uh, take a shortcut here. Right into a tree, apparently. There we go. Alright. It's so bizarre because he, uh... You're you're one of two camps with Andrew Tate. You either think he is like God's gift to men, or he's he's the most vile supervillain in society. And it's funny because either take is wrong. You know, so it's like everyone's gonna be like, "So, Donut, are you a supporter or are you a fucking uh, are, you, are you a hater?" It's like, I, well, I'm kind of neither because it's really fascinating. So, as most people know, the, you know, he, he, he's been accused of all this shit, you know, he, he, he constantly be, is put in jail for sex trafficking, supposedly, and stuff like that, and like, you know, the stories of what he's done on one side are all completely false, like, like, sex trafficking and stuff like that, no, he, he doesn't do any of that. That's completely made up bullshit so that the other side can fully and totally look at him as a villain. Because one side completely has to make all their villains the most evil, vile, disgusting things they possibly can. Whether it's true or not. They don't care. Then you have the other side. Like I said, they basically think he is like the greatest thing, uh, the greatest, uh, most honest gift to, uh, to mankind. Because he says everything right. He he you know he 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 says you know the you have to go out and be strong and you know the matrix is holding you down and you have to find a way to claw your way above the matrix and stuff like that. And it's like he's right, but like I said, he does not believe it. At least theoretically, he doesn't really believe what he says. Now. When I say the stuff they say about him isn't true, the stuff that the left says about him is generally not true. The whole sex trafficking thing and stuff like that, that's not true. There was, there, there was even an incident where, uh, oh, oh, cool. There was an incident where he actually got arrested, see? And uh, he, he, he got into a Twitter fight with uh, Greta, Th uh, Greta Thunberg, or whatever the hell her name is. You know, uh, Miss... Uh, How dare you! So he gets, he, he gets into a, uh, an internet fight with her, and he gets arrested. Now, the story was going around that basically the reason he was arrested was because uh, he had some pizza boxes uh, in his video... And basically, he got, um, you know, they, they just uh, read the address. It's like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, what's the name of the pizza company? Where, where, where did you get the, where, where did you send these pizzas to? Oh, oh, okay. Well, we'll, uh, we'll arrest him. And that entire story was entirely bullshit. Entirely fucking made up. 
because the left wanted to have their weird little story of of how of how their their darling was like of how, uh, how their 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 darling who was protecting the environment stopped the evil Mr. Tate. So when I say I don't support him, why don't I? Because I hate to say it, he's not a very honest person. Okay, there is a the the stories of him sex trafficking are basically because he did a. Uh, he did uh, this thing where he was teaching girls how to make lots of money on OnlyFans, right? And, like, they would make fucking money hand over fist because he just knew what to do. It was like, holy shit. Now, as, as any situation goes, you know, where, where, where there's a, a imbalances of power, one of the girls decided, you know, she was a... Uh, she was a... Uh, too valuable for him to get rid of, and he got rid of her. And she basically reported him, and, well, she basically made up a whole bunch of shit about him, you know, forcing them to do all, all these sex acts and things like that, and it's like, yeah, whatever. Now, he had, he is not absolved of any more, uh, 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 of any moral, uh, moral uh, thing here, because he basically was teaching these women to scam guys out of money. Like, I mean... Mo uh, scam him out of money hand over fist there's this video of him going around basically where he would teach this girl how to fucking uh how to uh, uh the, the best way for, uh, to scam money was, was basically to lie about a guy you know fucking uh basically screw him over uh, take a whole bunch of money lie to him and things like that so it's like Andrew Tate in my opinion, is one of those people, he knows how to make money, and he knows you gotta be an asshole to do it. And he is a fucking asshole. And, uh, the, uh, the, the country he's in, the real reason the country he's in wants to arrest him, it's really fascinating, because I, what, what was it, Hungary? I can't remember what the country was right off the, uh, all right. But I can't remember what the country was right off the bat here. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, lots of gold parts. Holy shit. Alright. But I can't really remember what the country was because... Uh, anyway, it, it was like Hungary or something like that. And now the reason that the uh, country wanted him gone or wanted him arrested was because... Uh, what 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 track was this? But the reason they wanted him arrested was because basically a uh, Hungary or whatever country it was he was in, I can't remember, wants to join the EU, all right? Now, you can't join the EU when you have a uh, a mob presence. And so it's all, and Andrew Tate, basically, in his quest of making money and stuff like that, is was basically bragging so much about working with the mob and making money, which is like, he's on Twitter every day being like, oh yeah, no, I pay off the mob and everything. It's fucking great. And so Hungary had to find some way to shut him up. They had to find some way to shut him up. So gonna win this just so that, uh, uh, j j because, um, like I said, you can't join the EU if you have a mob presence. And well, he's basically sitting there bragging about how he's working with the mob. It kind of, it kind of ruins working with the, uh, uh, you know, joining the EU. Fucking hell. Shit. Okay, that's gonna screw up my time here. But my phone started going off for some reason. Alright. Anyway, so he... He's constantly bragging about working with the mob with the, uh, on Twitter, right? And when you're, when you're sitting there trying to join the EU, you can't have a mob presence. And here is this douchebag with millions and millions of followers 
essentially bragging to the entire world about how he's fucking working with the mob. Guess who's ahead of the pack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he basically was making it <laughs> was basically honestly fucking <laughs> hungry was having to shut him up. And so they, they had to make up all these reasons to arrest him, you know? So they had to make up, oh, well, we're, we're arresting him for sex trafficking. Yeah, 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 that's, that's, that, that's what it is. Yeah. And so, and it's funny because he cheesed it up, they cheesed it up. You know, as he's getting arrested, he's sitting there being like, oh, the Matrix is attacking me and stuff like that. And, you know, it's like, it's like, you know what? And that's what I mean when, like, 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 he exists in two worlds of fiction. It's so bizarre. Because both the, uh, both the people who love him and the people who hate him just... Just absolutely eat it up. It's so bizarre. It's, like, one of the most fascinating character studies I've ever seen, at least recently. Because it's, like... Yeah, it, both sides, the ones that love him and hate him, are almost all fiction. It's so weird. Oh, hold up. Yes. Oh, finish time. Oh, yeah. Ah, let's see if I did any better. But, yeah, that's, uh... Jesus. That's my thoughts on Andrew Tate. I did, like, a tiny bit better. Jesus Christ. I mean, the fact that I was sitting talking the whole time, is, you know, makes a difference, I guess. <laughs>